If you have a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D processor or you want to buy one, you need the right graphics card. As you probably know, the 7800X 3D is the fastest gaming CPU in the entire market. And trust me when I say, if you have a graphics card that's not powerful enough, you will be wasting your potential with this CPU or even worse, wasting your money. I'll show you the five best graphics cards to pair with this Ryzen CPU at different budgets and monitors resolution, including 1080p, 1440p and 4K GPUs. The link to this graphics cards will be down below in the video description with the latest prices and availability in your region. My name's Valentino, that being said, let's start. The first graphics card is going to be the minimum GPU I will pair with the Ryzen 7 7800X3D. I wouldn't pair any graphics card that's lower in terms of performance than this one right here in the RX 6750XT. This graphics card is going to be amazing for 1080p high FPS it is a very future-proof 1080p GPU that you can also use for 1440p high settings. It is also great when it comes to esports games, especially because you get the 7800X3D. So if you want to play games like Valorant, CS2, even with this graphics card, you will be playing at 240 plus FPS, possibly even 360 plus FPS if you are going to be playing in competitive settings in those type of games. On top of that, since you get 12 gigs of VRAM, inside of the 6750XT, as I said before, you get a very future-proof 1080p system because the most high-demanding games are going to be requiring more than 8 gigs of VRAM, especially in the near future. So having 12 gigs of VRAM is ideal if you want to play at 1080p in the next few years. And you can expect really high frame rates, and I'm talking about 100 plus FPS in high-demanding games. So very strong level of gaming performance. And then, as I said before, you can also play at 1440p resolution high settings if you want to and achieve 60 to 80 plus FPS on average, depending on the game and depending on the settings. The most important thing here that you need to know is that the 6750XT is ideal if you want to play at 1080p and you want the cheapest graphics card that you can get to pair with the 7800X3D and not waste your money. But even here, you are chipping out a bit on your graphics card considering that you have the fastest CPU in the market. So if you want a better value graphics card, especially if you play esports games or if you want higher FPS at 1440p resolution, then I recommend you getting the next graphics card, which is the best esports value graphics card. But again, you can also use it for very high demanding titles at 1440p resolution and achieve amazing gaming performance. This graphics card is the RX 7800XT, which is one of the best GPUs for 1440p resolution in terms of value. And right now is going on a huge discount. It used to be around 500 USD, but right now it's going for as low as 450. So in my opinion, one of the best price to performance graphics cards in the entire market. And in terms of gaming performance in esports games, you can expect well over 360 plus FPS on average at 1440p resolution competitive settings in most esports games. And then if you want to play at 1080p, you can easily max out a 540Hz monitor because you will be achieving more than 500 plus FPS in games like Valorant or CS2. Now, if you play a game like Fortnite, some people believe that Nvidia is better than AMD, especially in performance mode. So if you must have Nvidia because it works better in your favorite games, then you are looking to spend more money and I recommend you going with the RTX 4070. Just keep in mind that the 4070 is going for around 500 and 30 bucks so that's around 80 dollars more expensive than the 7800 xt and the 4070 is going to perform very similar in the majority of games compared to the 7800 xt so it's definitely worse in terms of price to performance and here you get 12 gigs of vram with the 4070 and if you go with the 7800 xt you get 16 gigs of vram instead which is much better in the future for 1440p resolution. So if you want a future-proof 1440p system as well, the 7800 XT, in my opinion, is a no-brainer. However, whether you go with the 7800 XT or 4070, you will be achieving really high performance at 1440p resolution. And I'm talking about 90 to 100 FPS on average in high demanding games, high to ultra settings. And again, this is the perfect graphics card in terms of value for esports as well, in case you want to compete with a high refresh rate monitor. Because trust me when I say you definitely do not need to spend anything more than this if you want to achieve high FPS 
and you want to compete in those type of games. Now, if you have more money to spend, you can get the sweet spot graphics card in case you want the best performing GPU for 1440p or if you want to play at 4K resolution in the future. And I will get to this graphics card in just a second. But before doing that, I want to say that if you are finding valuable information so far, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon in case you want to learn more about computers. Now let's continue. So the sweet spot graphics card for 1440p max out performance or 4K high settings is the RTX 4070 Ti Super. I have tested this graphics card myself and if you pair it with the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, you are going to be getting one of the most powerful systems in the entire market. And not only that, but it's also ideal because it's not the most expensive one. So if you don't want to go for those 4080 Supers or 4090 graphics cards because of the pricing, well, the 4070 Ti Super is is still quite expensive but definitely not as expensive as the RTX 4090 for example. The 4070 Ti Super will allow you to play any game that you want at 1440p resolution max settings with no issues and even the most high demanding titles. Then you can also play at 4k high to ultra settings. In some games you will be able to max out the level of performance even at 4k but if you want to play a game like Cyberpunk 2077 4k ultra with ray tracing enabled then I do recommend you turning on the LSS which is the upscaler from NVIDIA for you to achieve a, a smoother level of performance and still maintain really good quality. Now, this graphics card is going on a discount right now and after a promo code at Newegg, you can find it for around 769 bucks. So as I said before, it is still quite expensive. So if you want to go with a better graphics card in terms of pure price to performance, then I recommend you going with the AMD RX 7900 XT. This one is more than $100 cheaper and it will achieve basically the same level of gaming performance, but I'm talking about rasterized performance. So if you care about ray tracing or the upscaling technology, which DLSS works better from Nvidia, then I recommend you spending the extra and go for the 4070 Ti Super. Now, I will not get into too much detail, but if you want to learn more on which one you should get for your budget and your needs, you will find my video on which one you should buy in 2024, depending on your budget and needs. That video will be in the top right corner of the screen. But for now, to make it simple for you, if you want the better graphics card with more features and you are willing to spend the extra, go for the 4070 Ti Super. But if you want the best pure price to performance graphics card, meaning that you want the maximum FPS for the lower amount of money, then go for the AMD 7900 XT. Now remember that the prices might be different when you're watching this, so maybe the 4070 Ti Super is even cheaper or maybe the 7900 XT is even cheaper. So I do recommend you checking the latest pricing and availability from the links down in the video description. Now, if you want this sweet spot for 4K resolution to pair with the 7800X 3D, then I recommend you getting the RTX 4080 Super. This GPU will allow you to play any game that you want at 4K ultra settings. Now, you can also use it for 1440p very high FPS, but I would recommend it more for 4K. So if you have a 4K monitor or you are looking to buy one, then this one is the perfect GPU. Now, since you get an Nvidia graphics card, you enjoy all of the Nvidia features, which is pretty nice, but just as I said with the 4070 Ti Super, if you want the better price to performance graphics card, then I recommend you going with the RX 7900 XTX. And in this case, the AMD option is almost $200 cheaper. So even though I love the 4080 Super, consider the 7900 XTX because it's actually slightly faster on average than the 4080 Super, meaning that at 4K ultra settings, you will be getting an average of 93 FPS in high demanding games from the 7900 XTX and 85 plus FPS from the 4080 Super. So in terms of pure rasterized performance, the 7900 XDX is better and quite cheaper. But again, if you care about ray tracing or DLSS, or you want the better graphics card for 3D rendering or content creation for the most part, then the 4080 Super is better, but you are looking to spend $200 more. So my conclusion is the same as the last two GPUs. If you must have Nvidia and you are willing to spend the premium, go for the 4080 Super. But if you want the better price for performance, months go AMD and spend $200 less for slightly better performance. And then if you want the best of the best, you just want to play 4K Ultra and you want the best performing graphics card in the entire market, go for the RTX 4090. I mean, if you have the money to buy a 4090, then I would never tell you not to buy it because you will be getting the fastest gaming performance in the market and the 7800X 3D is the fastest CPU in the market. So of course you can handle the RTX 4090 with this CPU and you will be achieving over
however hungry plus fps in the most high demanding games at 4k i don't need to tell you all of this because you probably know that the 4090 is the fastest one and as of right now the price is around 1900 dollars for the cheapest model so very expensive but again if you want the best of the best and you have the money then this is going to be the perfect graphics card for you to pair with the 7800 x3d now after you find the perfect graphics card for you whether that's a 4090 or it's a 6750 xt which was the cheapest one on this entire list you can still bottleneck your cpu and gpu combo let's say you don't have the perfect case then you are not providing enough airflow which will hurt your performance long term or let's say the cpu cooler is not appropriate for the 7800 x3d then you will be hurting your cpu so you get my point here you can actually bottleneck the cpu and gpu combo even if they work amazingly well with each other so if you want the best entire gaming pc alongside the 7800 x3d processor then i recommend you watching my video on the best gaming pc builds with this cpu and that video will be in the top right corner of the screen and down below in the video description alongside every graphics card i mentioned today thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one